Hi guys. So I'm going to do a video on um, usage of gloves, sanitizer, and how to effectively uh, sanitize and reuse your gloves um, through this um, crisis. So uh, the idea behind this is that uh, uh, we would wear gloves out uh, wherever we go. Uh, and the reason why is because if you wear gloves, you can, um, throughout the day, use sanitizer on the gloves instead of your hands. Basically, that'll save it. Um, or uh, it'll save it from washing, hand washing, uh, like 10 times a day, in which case, case you basically your hands will dry out and, uh, you know, uh, it just won't be... Um, uh, uh, that um, great for your hands, um, hand washing and using sanitizer all day. So uh, these are just regular nitrile gloves. They're the black type. Uh, they're a little bit more, th it's a little bit thicker than the blue type, I find, a little bit tougher. Uh, so anyways, um, I wear these everywhere I go out, uh, especially when I go outside now. So. Uh, even going into the office when I need to, uh, I wear gloves just in case someone has touched the keyboard or touched maybe, uh, I don't know, my stapler or whatever it may be, uh, then, um, you know, obviously there's a chance that that person has the virus and the germs would be spread onto my hands, in which case I touch my face and then, you know, that won't be um, so good. So uh, the idea is that if you wear gloves, um, it'll sort of prevent you from touching your face. And then um, because every single time you look down, you're like, oh, I can't touch my face with these gloves. But um, the other, uh, other thing is that it's just an extra layer of protection between you and the things that you may be touching throughout the day. So um, when I set up to go out, I sanitize my hand first. This is the homemade sanitizer, isopropyl alcohol, and a few other ingredients, including uh, distilled water and uh, witch hazel and uh, some tea tree oil and some um, uh, glycerin. So basically, spray your hands. Sanitize first. The reason why you want to sanitize your hand first is because you don't want to wear gloves for a long period of time with uh, bacteria on it. So if anything, you should probably wash your hands first, then sanitize with your isopropyl um, hand sanitizer, and then we will put on the gloves. So these gloves fit a little bit tight on me it's probably better that is tighter the reason is because you don't want it to be falling off while you're um, using them throughout the day and the tighter they are the the more tactile feel you have uh, to the world sort of thing you're already putting a membrane on your hands that you know um, uh, uh, shelters you from the world sort of thing you don't want it to be too thick so you so you can still handle things properly so let's say i go i'm at work do my work uh typing uh stapling uh office work whatever it may be and then um i need to adjust my glasses or scratch my face or something then i would look down and say okay i shouldn't be uh touching my face so anyways uh what you could do then is to sanitize your gloves first so sanitize your gloves first before you adjust your glasses or whatever it may be. So you notice that the gloves sort of covers your fingernails and underneath your fingernails and whatnot, right? So the idea is that um, the gloves are easier to sanitize than your hands because your hands, you have fingernails and the cuticles, that area, can harbor bacteria, viruses, or whatever, what, um, you know, dirt, whatever it may be. And that uh, can uh, uh, 
be detrimental, uh, obviously, in this type of uh, um, environment. So uh, I would wear the gloves throughout the day. I typically don't have sweaty hands, so I'm sort of lucky that way. But if you do have sweaty hands, and um, then you're probably going to have very wet. It's going to get very wet and damp inside. Uh, but uh, hey, I mean, that's the cost of uh, trying to become more um, hygienic, right? Uh, and, um, and prevent yourself from getting this uh, virus. So uh, when you get home uh, or when you need to take these off, Here's the key. So when you take them off, you're going to sanitize first, then take them off. And I'll show you why. So I will sanitize the gloves. Sanitize. And then I try to take off gloves this way by gently tugging at the fingertips. Don't pull too hard because you might rip them. All right, done. A lot of people, the reason why I say to sanitize first is because you may use your fingers and hands this way. There you go.